This is gonna take What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who- I don't think so. What? No! Trouble is coming, Captain. Everyone all right? May you find peace in death. Here's a little trick I learned in prison. Sand units live to clean and clean to live. Got stubborn stains? Leave them for Sam. One order of Stick and Fan coming up. This was a nice family, you know. While it lasted. Look at that. The snakes come back. I expected it'd end like this. Lived out here for years, all by my lonesome. Only right that I'd die the same way. Hey everybody, did the news get around about a guy named Butcher Pete? Old Pete just flew into this town and he's chopping up all the women's meat. Something you need? Yeah, huh? This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I appreciate what you've done for us. By all means, with more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive, one way or another. <laughs> You just killed him. Mr. Thompson. Reed Thompson. You know, my boss? I can't. I need to leave. I need to get away from here. I need to get away from you. You killed Mr. Thompson for talking down his nose at me? You got a real twisted sense of chivalry, you know that? Let's just... Let's just move on. I couldn't forgive myself if I let you loose upon the Vale unsupervised. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh?
ship? Oh, my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this... Sinking feeling. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. But I've been thinking about Miss McDevitt, too. She took care of her folk. Kept them fed and safe. She was a... A sweet old lady. She didn't deserve to die. Yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Gus losing a hand in the cannery was a mistake. What you did was... cold-blooded. I'm just struggling to understand why. You know, I think it's best if I tag along with you. For everybody's sake. You need somebody to balance you out. Yeah, huh? Yeah. I really do. My whole life's been... small. I realized that when you walked into town. I've been seeing the same faces every day, the same sky, the same stars. Then I saw this ship. This gorgeous, stately lady with her eyes turned skyward and... I made up my mind to come along with you. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Yeah, huh? Fast five! Top from sunrise to sunset! I don't see how he's staying alive! Meat's gonna be the death of old Pete yet! Keep hacking and whacking and smacking! Keep hacking and whacking and smacking! Keep hacking and whacking and smacking! He just hacks and whacks! Stop having my strength!